So I'm with Jason Thompson at the YNR 45th anniversary celebration. You probably never imagined you'd end up on YNR as Billy Abbott on the number one show when you started on your journey. Because you were a model first, right? Well, so, well how far? Uh, are we going back 45 years? Okay. 45 years. <laughs> um, yeah, I was. Long time ago, yeah. Right. Yeah. No, but I mean, I, I still remember when I first got General Hospital almost 12, 13, 13 years ago now. Um, yeah, it was a pretty profound moment in my life. And, you know, this is, I've been very fortunate to have to celebrate two 45 year anniversaries on Amazing. two different shows. Amazing. Amazing. A lot of people, get that. Lot of people yeah. Get that. yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, and I feel very grateful and, again, fortunate to be able to represent some two integral characters on those two shows. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice feeling. Playing Billy now with yes. all the layers that you bring to it and how you've made it your own. Mm. Did you did you feel from the get go from that first episode where he came out of the out of body experience? Did you feel like you hit the ground running and you knew the character, or has it been a progression over time of getting into? This? Well, hit the ground running, yes. Progression, yes, for sure. I mean, um, I think that's the beautiful thing about what we do is that we are, you know, we get to kind of live in real time. So we're always progressing as human beings, and that becomes part of the character. And so. Not only does he have the history that I had to learn and that I continue to learn, but I get to live him from this forward also. So it's it's constant. Um, you know, I, I did feel right from the get-go that this guy has a big heart and he can be reckless with it sometimes, but, you know, I think he really does mean well. He's got a lot of love in him, but it's, you know, sometimes damaged and that comes out in different ways. With the storyline turn that we just saw with JT and Victoria, I figure Billy will be very integral to this as well. I can, wouldn't he try to help Victoria? Yeah, I mean, or you know, a complex story. It's a complex, so. it's a complex story. It's a There's complex a story. There's a lot going on. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, Victoria is very, very important to him yeah. personally, and of course, she's the mother of their children. So there is always, there's always a connection there. Um, you know. On a personal level, I had a great time working with Thad. He was he was he's awesome. So great. Yeah, he's great. Such a great actor. Yeah. Great actor, really good guy. But you know, again, I think that's what we do well, and that's why we're here for 45 years. And, and in daytime across the board, we tell great story, and we do it in a day-to-day -day manner that is is you know intriguing. And you know, I've said it before, it's the really the original binge watching, you know. And so that's become such a thing nowadays, and we've been doing it for 45 years. So, Victoria. Phyllis are still going to could always be his loves and his issues and his pro I guess so yeah I mean I guess Phyllis is in there now too Phyllis is in there. Yeah, yeah yeah no I mean he's uh, I mean he's in love with Phyllis there's something about her that nobody else really gives him and he feels I think from my point of view that he gives her something that nobody else has ever given her also um, and um, you know, it doesn't mean that they don't call each other out every once in a while, but that's what a good relationship is. That's a good does. relationship. Does. Yeah. So, um, and then again, of course, Victoria, like I said, she's always going to be something very, very special to him. And you know, for all intents and purposes, uh, all intents and purposes, that relationship will really never really end, and as they don't ever, ever end. So, um, it's always going to be something to play, which I'm fortunate about. You know, if I'm here for another 45 years, and I'll still be doing it. So you know what's kind of the tra trajectory for Billy coming up? Is there anything you can tease yeah, to? I mean, like, what would be the tease to the fans? Well, I think the big tease is that we know what's going on, like in six, seven months from now. So, so they know. We do good, know. Which is good, right? and I mean, we do know in a way because my respect for the storytelling is just so much more. I don't know. I. The, the, what they have to do in order to get this far in advance and then we just have a better ability to really be aware of what's happening make smaller choices on a, on the day-to-day -day basis to make the bigger story work yeah instead of just like I don't know what I'm what doing next doing. week yeah so I'm I'm a big fan of the way we're doing this right now I really hope that it continues to kind of evolve the way that it feels like it is and um, it gives us an ability to really tell thorough layered story. Yeah, I just talked to Mal and he said I literally go to the actors and I do tell them what's coming up because yeah, a lot of EPs them. won't do that. No and I mean you know I think it I mean I've heard from other cast members that sometimes they don't like to know what's going on and that's a personal preference too but for me I like to lay the groundwork and then get the information that I need and then have some sense of to when to slowly let things leak or you know out of my own personal you know bubble but um no it's it's been great and yeah there's a lot it's going to be 
a pretty crazy summer, you know, for sure. Crazy yeah. summer. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be a lot going on. Cray, cray Things summer. Things that I didn't really, I was Things like, at first, know. I was like, what? <laughs> really? Whoa, okay. Okay, cool. Ah, okay. So, it's going to be fun. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and as far as this character, I just, you know, I just don't feel like there's any boundaries for him. He can go Either anywhere, way. anywhere, and he'll make... I don't know. I don't have to make excuses for him. Well, Jack is going to find out that he's not the biological, we, the bombshell of John Abbott's so, son. So how is Billy going to be there for Jack? Yeah, I mean, I think that he's going to be pulled in a couple different ways for sure. Um, you know, there's family and, and now everything that you thought was family is not necessarily in blood anymore. But, but then you're still family. And yeah, I mean, Eileen just walked by. I mean, you know, I found out, the character found out that she wasn't a blood, blood sister. But at the same time... Here comes Eileen Davidson. Come on in. Eileen Davidson. Hello. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> I mean, a perfect example. She's still my sister, right? She just comes in. She and just comes, comes in and comes out, and she makes her granddad. Um, you know, so yeah, I mean, it just, it, it, there's a whole, it just, you know, everything's been ratcheted up. There's what we thought was true is not true anymore. And so, you know what happens, you know, when that, when, when, when the that truth happens, out, so. the truth comes out. Here we are. All right. Happy 45th anniversary, YNR. Happy 45th anniversary, YNR. Yeah. And maybe 45 more. Maybe. We'll all be in wheelchairs by then. But yeah, yeah. Well, you know, hopefully modern medicine will keep us we'll from keep that. us together. <laughs>